Magandang buhay po at welcome dito sa aking Mathematics Tagalog Tutorial. Sa video na ito, ipapaliwanag ko po sa inyo yung another special product, the sum and difference of two terms. Kagaya po ng x minus 5 times x plus 5. So, paano po ba ito isisimplify? Ito po yung aking ipapaliwanag sa video na ito, step by step. Okay, so paano po i-perform yung sum and difference of two terms? Okay, so let's try this one. A minus B times A plus B. So ito po, kaya po siya natawag na sum and difference of two terms, A minus B, A plus B. Pareho pong A yung first term, pareho pong B yung second term. Yun nga lang ang pagkakaiba po dyan, yung isa ay minus, yung isa ay plus. Kaya sum and difference. Okay, so paano po yan isi-simplify? Kapag ganyan po yung given na sum and difference of two terms, all you have to do ay, i-multiply lang po yung first terms. Ang first term po dyan pareho, di ba po? Kaya nga, sum and difference. So, a squared, multiply mo lang a times a, a squared. And then, yung second term, multiply mo din, b times b is b squared. And then, yung operation between the two terms, a squared and b squared, ay always minus. Ano po? Or, kung i-expand po natin dyan, yung a squared is the same as a times a minus yung b squared is the same as b times b. Okay? Let's take number one example, x minus 5 times x plus 5. Ito po ay sum and difference of two terms. Pareho pong x ang first term, pareho pong 5 ang second term. Yun nga lang, yung isa ay minus, yung isa ay plus. Ano po? So, paano natin yan simplify? All you have to do, again, multiply yung first term, x times x, then multiply mo yung second term, 5, so 5 times 5. Okay? And then always, ang kanilang operation ay minus. Ano po? Kapag sum and difference of two terms. So, to simplify, yung x times x, again, kanina ay x squared, pagsasamahin lang. Then minus, what is 5 times 5? Ito po ay 5 squared or that is equal to 25. So x squared minus 25, yan na po yung product ng x minus 5 times x plus 5. Okay, so how about this number 2 example? 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. So pareho po yung first term na 2x, pareho po yung second term na 3. Yun nga lang, yung isa ay plus, yung isa ay minus. Again, kaya tinawag yan na sum and difference of two terms. So, kahit magkabaltad po yung plus or minus, okay lang po. Walang pong problema yan. Okay, so to simplify, again, multiply natin yung first term. Ang first term nila pareho ay 2x times 2x. And then, ang next, yung second term, Pareho pong 3 yan, kaya 3 times 3. Again, always minus. Huwag kakalimutan, baka po gawin yung plus, that is wrong. Minus po yan lagi. So, to simplify, multiply mo lang po yan. 2x squared or 2x times 2x, multiply mo lang po. 2 times 2 is 4. And then yung x, dalawang x, pagpatungin lang or add lang yung exponent, then gawin isa. So, 4x squared. Minus. 3 squared or 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. So, 4x squared minus 9, yan na po yung product ng 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Okay, so how about this given? 7x plus 5y times 7x minus 5y. So, dinagdagan ko na po yung variable. So, again, ang given po dito, 7x 5y. 7x, 5y. So, pareho pong 7x ang first term, pareho pong 5y ang second term. So, magkaiba lang yun po yung operation, plus and minus. So, kapag ganyan po yung given, always multiply the first terms, 7x times 7x, or 7x squared. And then, yung second term, 5y and 5y. So, 5y times 5y. And then, always Minus po yung operation nila. Okay, simplify. 7x times 7x. 7 times 7 is 
And then yung x, dalawang x yan, pag pinagsaba, magiging dalawa. Kaya x squared. So, 49 x squared. Then minus, ito po, 5y times 5y. 5 times 5 is 25. And then, dalawang y, kaya y squared. So, 49 x squared minus 25y. Yan na po yung product ng 7x plus 5y times 7x minus 5y. Okay, so bago ko po i-present, yung number 4 example, click lang po muna ang like and then subscribe kung bago ka pa lang po sa aking channel at notification bell upang sa gawin ay ma-update po kayo sa iba pang pa video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Sa ngayon po ay gumagawa ako ng mga learning tasks, performance tasks, summative test sa susunod na lesson. Okay, so for number 4 example, 8 plus 4y times 8 minus 4y. So again, pareho pong 8 ang first term, pareho pong 4y ang second term. Magkaiba lang po yung operation, plus and minus. So ito po ay application ng sum and difference of two terms. All you have to do ay multiply yung first term. So 8 times 8 or 8 square. Okay? And then, multiply yung second term na 4y. So, 4y times 4y. And then again, always minus po yung operation nila. So, to simplify, multiply mo muna. 8 times 8, that is 64. Minus 4y times 4y. 4 times 4 is 16. Okay? So, 16. Then, yung y times y is y squared. Yan na po yung product ng 8 plus 4y times 8 minus 4y. That is equal to 64 minus 16y square. Okay, so how about this number 5 example? x squared plus 6 times x squared minus 6. Again, pareho pong x squared ang first term. Pareho pong 6 ang second term. Magkaiba lang po yung operation plus minus. So, to simplify, kapag ganyan po yung given, again, multiply first terms, x squared times x squared. Then, multiply second terms, 6 times 6. So, again, subtraction always ang operation. So, to simplify, x squared times x squared. So, dalawa na x plus dalawa na x, magiging apat na x, kaya x raised to the fourth power. Ya-add lang po yung kanilang exponent. So, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Minus, ito pong 6 times 6 is 36. So, x squared minus 36, yan po yung product ng x squared plus 6 times x squared minus 6. Okay, so salamat po sa inyong panood. Nawa po ay natulungan ko kayo sa inyong aralin. Kung meron pong katanungan, comment lang po sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. Be sure lang po na kayo po ay nag-like. At nag-subscribe upang sa gawin kapag ako po ay nag-reply ay manunotify po kayo sa aking reply.